Hello, social media. Welcome to Lakita T. Sharp's famous inspirational mini. I am so happy to be here in the house talking to you. So I welcome you. Hello, you guys. Hi, you guys. Hi, everybody out there. Just bear with me. My voice was feeling, my um, body was feeling a little hurting down there in here. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Today is Friday, and um, it is about 7.05 p.m., and I am in Virginia. I thank you so much for tuning in. Check out my books over at Amazon.com. Also, um, if you would like to donate to my ministry, feel free to check out the description box to tell you where to send your um, donation if you want me to coach you. Right now, you know, um, check out the description box that'll tell you where I can coach you, um, where you can contact me and we can, you know, start coaching right now if you will like. So, yes. Also, check out my website. Check out my website and head over there for more inspiration. So, I thank you so much for tuning in on with me on today. So, let's get started. Now, the message is the enemy, your enemy, your spiritual enemy, or any enemy, doesn't want you to tap into that your power. The enemy doesn't want you to know the power you possess, okay? The enemy doesn't want you to step foot to know who you are. See, there's one thing when you find out who you really are and when you walk into your calling and when you walk in your to your rightful place or where you're supposed to be, there is no stopping you. You know, you attempt intimidate the enemy. You intimidate your enemies because you know who you are. Nobody can tell you who you are. Now, let's look up the word, the definition of power. To so basically, power. Let's look up the word power. Power is, is a noun. The ability to do something or act in a particular way. Especially as a faculty or a quality. Ability, capacity, capability, potential, potentiality, faculty, property, competence, power, the ability or right to control people or things. See, when you become into your power, power, you are, you have, you are capable. You have quality, okay? When you become to know, to knowing, excuse me, whoo, everything is, <laughs> to knowing who you are and who you supposed to be. There is something about when you know a, let's look up knowing. Knowing definition. Let's look up knowing definition. Follow me, you guys. So, excuse me. Okay, now, when I look up, there's something special in knowing who you are. See, this is your homework. Every day, you should be trying to figure out who you are through journaling, through reading books, through relationship with God. Because it's only in the relationship with God one-on-one -on -one, that you're going to know who you are supposed to be. You get what I mean? Now, let's look up the definition of knowing. Knowing. A state of being aware or informed is a noun. 
and it says done in full awareness or consciousness so you're conscious knowing purposeful pre-plan plan willful to i love this one to recognize the identity so when you are knowing who you are to recognize your identity and who you are and it's one thing when you give your life to jesus christ when you give your life to god and to live in christ you are like a new creation in christ for the old has gone and for the new creation has come. I can tell you that when I gave my life over to Jesus, I am nothing like how I, my old self. For those of you all who know me, I am not the old Lakita. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. I am not the old Lakita that you used to know. I am not. Although I might be the same Lakita, meaning I am a Lakita, but I am the new, improved Lakita. Okay? I am a new creation. So, so basically, the enemy doesn't want you to know who you are. You know, because it's like, he can't mess with you. He can't mess with you when he, you already know who you are. Because you're not standing for anything you know who you are you know some of you are walking around you don't know who you are you know you don't really know who who you are all the way you know who you know who you are in a way you have you know you know you are born and raised in the states you know you are you know um maybe the father and mother of somebody or you know you are the husband of somebody you know you are certain um you know certain aspects of you you know some of your identity but to to be knowing who you are put on this planet to be that's the thing to know that to know that and that it should be your number one job to figure out every day through reading books and through listening to motivational videos such as this one, thank you for watching, and to connect with the source, which is God, to connect with the power, connect with the source for him to um, be able to tell you exactly who you are through everyday encounters. Because what happens is, he is going to lead the way for you to show you um, who you are. Now, let's look up source. Source. A generative force. One that initiates. One that initiates source so god is the source that you need to um connect with so that he can help you through everyday conversations to reveal to you who you are which is very very important because you want to know who you are because then therefore you can move throughout this world and you will have an idea of who you are and you know um what you need to do and um you will be more confident because you know who you are and i pray which we're gonna pray right now and we're gonna pray right now heavenly father i pray for this person that's on the other side of the video god you know who they are they might not know who they are but you already know who they are and they're just now discovering different things about themselves. God, I pray that you will reveal who they are through you in Jesus' name. That they won't be on this earth lost. 
and to be lost, Lord Jesus, not knowing who they are, Lord Jesus. And I pray that you bless them, Lord Jesus, to find themselves. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So anyway, that is my time. I thank you so much for watching. And I thank you so much for hanging in with me on today. You guys are awesome. You guys are great. And I thank you so, so, so very, very much. Um, yeah. So, um, I will see you in the vid next video. Know that we are chosen ones. We are chosen for greatness. And we are, we do right. We live right and we make a lot of mistakes, but we continue to move forward because we are chosen ones. I hope to see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for bearing with me um, today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.